Since their invention, cars have undergone a tremendous transformation over the years, from changes in manufacturing and material usage to the type of engines that power them. The modern cars that we see today have tightly embraced the latest technologies to become more safe and smart, and we still don't know how many drastic changes are yet to come. But with new features, older ones are required to be phased out. While many new features augment the capabilities of our cars, there are often some features that we would definitely love to have back, and some that we definitely don't. From car features that were convenient, to some that were a waste of time, and some that were even deadly. There are countless car features, good and bad, that we lost over the decades. So here are 7 car features that no longer exist. Rear Mounted Gas Fillers Stand at a gas pump for 5 minutes and you'll witness a dozen people pulling into the gas station having no clue which side of the car their fuel cap is on. Clark? Isn't this the gas tank? That wasn't a problem until the 1980s, because most fuel fillers were located in the middle of the car's rear, or hidden behind the license plate. A few notable exceptions included the Dodge Charger, which had a spring-loaded chrome cap which sat on the top of the rear left fender. Gas caps moved to either side of the car in the 1980s. The idea was that center-mounted gas caps made the fuel tanks more vulnerable to a fire if a car was rear-ended. Bench Seats the most recent car that offered bench seats was the Chevy Impala. Unlike the separate and comfortable cushion seats and safety belts in modern day cars, older cars had bench seats. These seats weren't fitted with seat belts and could fit three people easily in the front row. However, things changed with the introduction of bucket seats that provided more storage options and a sportier look to the car's interior. Consumer preferences soon began to shift towards bucket seats and manufacturers had to drop bench seats in their favor. Bench seats were also replaced due to safety concerns such as airbags and Seat belts, which can provide better protection to two passengers rather than three. Fender Mares The Fender Mare was particularly popular among Japanese automakers like Datsun and classic European roasters until the 1970s when a side mare became more suitable. You see, although Fender Mares allow drivers to keep their eyes looking forward behind the wheel, their lack of adjustability and distance from the driver proved to be too problematic. In fact, passenger cars only required one passenger side mirror until 1986, when a new law was passed requiring cars to have two. Yet this classic feature is truly missed. Long Radio Antennas if you remember when cars had bench seats, then you'll probably remember when cars used to have antennas. In older cars, we could see radio antennas coming out of the side or the middle portion of the car. Some were even motorized, retracting in and out of the car. Were they an eyesore? Well, kinda. But most people use these long radio antennas as a chance to give their cars a little spunk. Back in the day, you would spot countless raccoon tails, smiley face jack-in-the-box balls, and other trinkets on top of these wiry menaces. Today, modern cars still have antennas. Multiple antennae, actually. One for radio reception, a separate one for satellite reception, and sometimes a third for GPS reception. The difference is, is that they're not obvious. Thanks to the fact that we understand a lot more about aerodynamics, antennas are now sleek, surface mounted, or embedded in the glass of the windshield. But while antennas still exist in a certain form, the power antenna is a thing of the past. Vent Windows Vent or wing windows are another extinct car feature that was popular in older cars. The small triangular windows were found in both the driver and passenger sides and could be rotated inward to get some fresh air. On days that weren't too hot, you could skip opening the main window and get some ventilation without messing up your hair. But with the introduction of air conditioning, this magnificent triangular piece of glass went extinct. Horn Rings Horn rings are originally considered as a safety feature, and they were also designed for convenience. Previously, the driver had to completely remove one hand from the steering wheel in order to press the button in the center to honk the horn. The horn ring was designed so both hands could remain on the wheel, and with a stretch of a finger or a thumb, the driver could honk the horn. With the addition of driver's side airbags, the horn ring started fading away, and a button was integrated into the steering wheel. Hand cranked windows. Today's teenagers probably don't know what a hand-cranked window is. But yes, at one point in time, people had to manually roll their windows up and down. Nowadays, this car feature is almost impossible to find, and that's probably because most people don't miss them. Crank windows got replaced with power and electric windows. Instead of using a hand-churned crank handle, passengers can now lower or raise the window of their car with just a press of a button, requiring no effort. Full-size spare tires. 
Although some cars still have this feature, the majority of new cars no longer have them. Until today, most cars used to come with a full-size spare tire, a feature that every one of us would definitely want. But most car manufacturers now provide limited-use spare tires, instead of the full-size ones. These limited-use tires are also known as a donut, space saver, or compact spare tires. Manufacturers claim that these limited-use tires help them reduce total cost, save space, and lower the weight of the vehicle, compared to full-size spare tires. Full-size spare tires are now replaced by tire inflator kits in the majority of modern vehicles, which are capable to handle only certain types of tire damage. Although if you're like me, a full-size spare tire is indeed a necessary feature that needs to make a comeback. Hubcaps the full-wheel hubcap is almost extinct from the automotive landscape. They do appear on a small handful of entry-level, penalty-box rental cars, as well as some electric vehicles like the Tesla Model 3, but as a widespread automotive feature, they're as as close to extinct as you can get. Up until the 1990s, when stylized aluminum wheels became the norm, hubcaps were everywhere. In the early days, they were made out of chrome steel. Later versions were stainless steel. And then finally, we got nothing but plastic. But every single manufacturer had multiple iterations of hubcaps, sometimes on just a single model. This photo is from a 1970 Oldsmobile brochure. Along with two types of stylized steel wheels, which are also a thing of the past, the brochure shows four different full hubcaps, and these are just the premium hubcaps, and don't include the several entry-level hubcaps that normally came with the car. Well guys, those are car features that no longer exist. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You could also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and I'll see ya next time.